Hello everyone, I am Srobana Mukherjee and I am an assistant professor in NS College of Pharmacy. So here we are with another topic. So today's topic is tablet disintegration test, right. So suppose you have taken a tablet and it is ingested in your stomach. Then the first phase that happens is the disintegration means the tablet is divided into fragments, okay. Then the tablet is dissolved in the gastric liquid in your stomach that is called dissolution. And then the tablet is absorbed and then distributed in your bloodstream and shows pharmacological action means the disease gets cured, okay. Now coming to the disintegration test. So first it is a in vitro test means the test is done in body like conditions but it is done in an external environment. And the DT test comes under the official tests of tablet evaluation. This is mentioned in the IP and it has 4 parts the weight variation test, content uniformity test, DT test and dissolution test. Okay. Then as you know you can assume that each tablet has a specific disintegration time like the coated tablet will obviously take more time and the uncoated tablet will take less time. In the IP it is mentioned that the uncoated tablet generally takes about 15 minutes and the coated tablet generally takes about 30 minutes. But you know it increases for enteric coated and other types of coating. Okay. So, but you know you cannot actually test all type of tablets for disintegration like um, you know for chewable tablets or for sustained release tablets this test cannot be done. Okay. So, now let us move on to the DT test apparatus and we will be seeing a small demo of that. So, as you can see here this is a disintegration test apparatus which is a single unit right. So, as you can see there are 6 holes here and each in each hole there will be a one tablet placed here ok. And on the top of the tablet here are the discs on the top of the tablet one disc will be placed here. There will be a 1000 ml beaker where 900 ml of liquid or water will be placed and here is it is a hot plate where the temperature can be maintained and controlled right. So, when I switch on the mains this will start going up and down. You can control the motor movement from here. Why does this goes up and down? Because it mimics the peristaltic movement of our stomach. Okay. And when the disintegration test will be done finally, then all the contents of the tablet will be transferred in the beaker placed here and no residue should be remained in these tubes. Then only the disintegration test will be passed. And if in such cases, if one such cases that the you know tablet residues are placed here, then it will fail the disintegration test. So, I hope you have understood the disintegration test and thank you everyone. If you have any question, you can put down in the comments.